Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we got two loads to do. We're gonna go to Fort Dodge, then we're gonna go to Des Moines, and then we're gonna say goodbye to our step deck. I know it hasn't been very long, but it's time. Stay tuned for some trucking. Well, it is 12 something, 12.30? It's 12.30. And uh, we're in Des Moines. And I haven't recorded anything all day. Uh, I enjoyed my morning. Uh, we went to Fort Dodge, like I said yesterday we were going to. That first thing, early in the morning. And uh, we hooked on to 2159. And run this Des Moines load. Um, took a little while to unload. There's like nobody here, but there are plenty of forklifts. I don't know why they didn't prioritize getting me unloaded, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm feeling better now. Uh, I was a little grumpy for a second. That was more due to the fact, though, that sure it's coming out. And, uh, I tried to go inside and get me some food to eat because I haven't eaten lunch. And uh, well, I couldn't buy anything. I don't know if you guys comment down below. Did you guys experience the same thing I did? Uh, I don't know how widespread it is as far as uh, whose systems are down, but. I didn't have cash or check with me today, and nationwide, Menards, Home Depot, Lowe's, all have their systems down. So that's interesting. So I was grumpy for a minute because I went, I, you know, went inside, walked all the way to the front, used the restroom, then I walked all the way to the back again, got some food from the cooler, and, uh, through the exit here um, and then back to the front tried to pay for my food and well no boy no so then I had the walk of shame leaving my stuff there at the counter and walking away even though it wasn't at all my fault and the lady wasn't very sympathetic at all she could have told me that before I started checking out but Guess I need to carry some cash with me. To, I think actually I have a few bucks in the truck. All right. Let's see if we get lucky like we did last time. Yesterday we drove right out. Which was rather convenient. Probably not going to happen again, but... One can hope. Probably gonna let you go pretty quick here. Like how I just straddle this line? Yeah, sort of got to. Sort of got to. Yep, it'll be a minute. Okay, we are, we're at Quick Star. Got a freight hauler behind me. On my tail. He is not happy with how fast I'm going, or with slow how I'm going. But I'm not really going slow, so I don't really know what's going on. He's just a grumpy guy. And I don't care. This Amazon guy is right in the way. If somebody wanted to get that first stall, they can't. No idea what he's doing. Wow. That's pretty bad. That's not an acceptable place to park. <laughs> That's not at all an acceptable place to park. What is he thinking? Okay. Fuel. We're chilling here, waiting for it to fill up. Got 40 something gallons in there. I just felt like going to take a look and see. What do we got here going on? What are we paying right now? We're in Altoona, if you're wondering. Come on, 
What do we got? Three. Three dollars and forty-three cents. Oh, can't see. Where we are. Come and goes. Sent more expensive. Let me check. Up in. Yep. Marshalltown. Three forty-nine. So. Oh, we gotta fill up. It's currently 1.10 in the afternoon right now. And, uh... Oh, I need to get out of here quick. I'm gonna see if I can do a Marshalltown. I'm gonna text him and see if he's got one. I would do an, an Altoona next. But... That's probably the only other one I do because I'm running out of time. Ooh, we just popped. All right. Something new. Familiar sight. We're back to the yard. We are not picking up another trailer. Um, he did not have a Marshalltown for me. And then as soon as he said, no, I don't, I'm like, wait a second. This is perfect timing. I need to take that step deck back. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Take the old step deck back and uh, check that off the list. There is lots of loads, lots of loads available. Um, they're just not real fast at loading them during the day. So um, I'm guessing there's a Marshalltown available, but it's still, you know, in the yard. Actually, there's, there's not. Interesting. Let's see if they tell me where they want the trailer. Wow, look at all that load. That's great. Are they done unloading the trailers yet? I think I want to put my trailer right there. Right in the center. deck behind us, got our dunnage off of it, got a pile of chains next to me. Well, it's just one chain. A pile of a chain. Huh? I'll be happy to get this stuff out of the cab. Um, sad to see this, this, this trailer go, but if I'm going to be running for the next, whoever knows how long, definitely the next two weeks, um, if I'm going to be running from an R-Tart, there's no point in paying for a trailer. Go drop it off, and, and uh, if I need it again, I'll come back and get it. But nah, we're gonna return it, and uh, we're gonna prepare to run hard for the Nards for the indefinite future. So, uh, sort of sad. Feel I feel really good with the step deck behind me. Feels like I'm doing something. Me and it were not meant to be. So, all right, I'm gonna stop talking now, and uh, we're gonna gonna mosey on over to Hail Trailer. We're almost to Hail Trailer. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why I'm thinking about this right now, but uh, I still find it entertaining that the trailer that I rented this time is the exact same one that I rented last time, and they have multiple of these. It still, it still had rocks on the front of the lower deck that were from me. Like rocks from a load that I did. I think that is extremely entertaining. Okay, this guy behind me doesn't know that I'm turning. Oh, probably should tell him that. So if any of you guys wanna rent a, uh, uh, 
steel step deck. Hail Trailer's got one. Okay. What are they doing here? Interesting. All right, let's see where they're gonna, whoa, they just parked that right in the middle. I'm hoping I get to park mine right in the middle too. That's, it seems like what everybody does. Let's get down here. Yeah, see there's another step deck just like this one. I'm hopefully gonna just park this right next to this uh, box. Yeah, same trailer. This one, it's a removable bulkhead. But. All right, let's find out what we're gonna do. Well, there she is. There she goes. Where is she at? There she goes. All done. It's fine. I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss her. get our own trailers could probably rent this hopper bottom right here should we do that <laughs> no if I get a hopper bottom I'm gonna buy a cheap one myself and not rent one they're eleven hundred dollars to rent one of those Now I am going to just chill in the corner here and relax for a second and then I'm going to head back to the yard. We, while we're back to the yard, y'all know where we are. Y'all get bored of this place, don't you? I know. So do I sometimes. Oh, we got our step deck delivered. Back to its home. We are going to uh, go home right now once we get our trailer. It's 417, so we should be, be should be home in a good time. Um, I'm thinking this is our trailer, but I don't know. This is not. We're looking for a 11870. Looks like it's over here somewhere. Go see if we can find it. Well, we can find it. The question is, is it done? If it's not done, then I get to go home or wait around for a little while. I really hope it's done because I'm going to Cedar Falls with it tomorrow morning. Cedar Falls. Well, coming back here is 15 minutes out of the way one direction so half an hour total looks like it is definitely loaded one one eight seven zero there she is there she is that's a good little load I like that that'll work that'll do the trick question is well I got two by or four by eights four by eights four by fours I got eight of them sitting here on the yard and I need a way of getting them home They got all the rail cars un unloaded. Some of the uh, lumber is still sitting here though. So what did we say it was? This one right here? Yep, there she be. I just shot my intro. And uh, realized that I didn't close out the video today. So, well, we need to do that. Instead of a bittersweet day turning in our step deck, I really enjoyed having it. I would have liked to keep it, but if I'm not going to use it, 
there's no point in paying for it. So, it's back to its owners. And, uh, hopefully next time we get in the slump, we don't need it. We got our own. Who knows what the next year will bring? You you never know. It's <laughs> uh, it's been said by the older generations, but uh, you know, as you get older, you realize, yep, you never know. Your plans could go right out the window, and that's okay. That's gonna be just fine. Thanks for watching today, guys. I appreciate it. We'll be back at it again tomorrow. Headed up to Cedar Falls. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button. And we'll see you on the next one.